Hi, this is Manuel Delta Lima 2 Mike Alpha November, and today I'm going to show you a little quickie. Uh, Marek Sierra Papa 9 Tango Kilo Whiskey made me aware of an uh, alternative winding pattern for our uh, 1 in 49 transformers. And this was provided by KN5L Kilo November 5 Lima. I will put you the link in the description below. However, uh, he is using uh, double double stacked uh, FT 140-43 cores and when I try to apply this winding pattern uh, to this um, tiny FT 82 cores it didn't work too good. By accident I discovered how to make it work anyway and I'm going to show you my, my modified uh, winding pattern. <laughs> I had at least six trials now. I was uh, almost getting crazy because I couldn't replicate uh, one incident where I got it to work. So, but I think now I've got it. So I'm going to show you that. I'm going to start again with a little bit of wire that I'm going to twist. One. Okay. This time it doesn't need to be too long because it's just the tap, the, the virtual tap we are creating. When you look at that KN5L scheme, it's the, the tap, it's the point where he sold us the wires together. Now, I'm putting this on the outside of the transformer. And I'm going to wind with a short wire through in the right direction. So that's number one. Number two. Make sure everything's tight. I'm just putting that here so I have something that I can pull against. And Number three, that's three turns through the core. Now here's the point where, where uh, the, the, where my winding pattern deviates from K and 5L's winding pattern for smaller cores. He would continue now with this tapped winding in the same direction as this winding. I need to do it in the opposite way. So I'm going with the long wire through my core. And now, as you can see, those are both in that direction. So they, they run in parallel. I'm doing now one and two. In this case, this is our common ground connection, and this is uh, the first five turns of primary and secondary together, with a tap at the third, uh, with the th at the third winding, the third turn. Now, I'm going to change the direction, or not the direction. I'm yeah, the, the winding direction. I'm winding the next turns over those five windings. And I'm trying to to get with this wire in between the existing windings. Six. Seven. Eight. 
eight. Nine. Ten. I hate it when I need to do this on camera and like, I need to try to be fast. That's why we should never try to be fast. We try to make it the right way. 16. So, 17. 18. 19. 20. 21. Okay, this transformer should in theory work without capacitor and should provide by default a very good SWR pattern and should have low losses because the, the winding pattern is compensating for the leak inductance and stray capacitance. That's the theory. So. Let's connect it to the nano VNA and find out. Okay, this is a 4 in 28 I built before, and this is the 3 in 21 I just built in front of the camera. Now let's connect that to the nano VNA and let's see what we got. I didn't see that before. So. Let's just hope it works. Yeah, <laughs> cool. Should be able to see it now. 1.74 on 80, uh, 1.4 on 40, 1.25 on 20, and 1.41 on 10 meters. And as you can see, without capacitor. Reviewing the footage you've just seen, I realized I forgot some, some core things to mention here. So the first thing is when I compare those two transformers, the one we have seen yesterday, SWR plot, you can look the video up, and this alternative winding pattern. From SWR point of view, they almost act the same. Um, and it turned out also for this type of transformer that a ratio of 3 in 21 turns seems to be optimum for that core size. And I assume that's also true for the 114 type. So this seems to depend a little bit on the core size, what uh, core, uh, what winding ratio you should use. Not the, the ratio in total, like 1 in 7, but how many turns you use to, to do that because uh, the primary uh, winding needs to have a certain XL in order to perform right. And this seems to be, for this core size, three turns seem to be ab about right. I tried four and 28. Uh, this had a little bit negative effect on the SWR and uh, two in 14. I didn't try because I know that won't work. Okay, that was one thing. The other thing is they almost performed the same SWR-wise, both cores. Uh, the benefit of that one is I don't have a capacitor. So that's another part I don't need to worry about that it could be bad quality or whatever. Uh, just keep that in mind. So I hope you enjoyed it anyway. 73, good luck. Bye-bye. See you next time.